All right. Show that a the magnitude of a cross b squared is equal to the magnitude of a squared times the magnitude of b squared minus the dot product of a and b squared. So essentially, we have this equal to this right here. Hopefully, I don't have to go too formal about it. Squared. Okay, so uh, we can start off by immediately turning this into uh, its cross product form. The a squared, since hence, well, it's squared because this is squared here. a squared, active a squared, times magnitude of b squared. I should probably draw lines. So uh, let's do a hoop bat line here. That just makes my life easier. Times sine squared theta. Uh, so sine squared theta is has a property uh, where it's equal to 1 minus cosine squared because you know a power group theorem you know mm -hmm. so we have that right there. Uh, we can substitute uh, the sine squared theta into the equation right here so we end up with a squared. Oh can you see that? Right, kind of, yeah. Squared, and we have times one minus cosine squared theta. So when we distribute this, we should end up with the a squared. Oh, right to a squared. Oh, I need to draw like a fat line again. Yep, uh, times b squared. Uh, and then we multiply to that minus a squared, oh wait, no, 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 magnitude of a squared times the magnitude of b squared times cosine squared theta. Uh, this right here, the magnitude of a squared times the magnitude of b squared times cosine theta is essentially the dot product right here. So you can convert this to the dot product squared. Hence, this will end up being, wait, yeah. Minus a dot b squared. Because a dot b is equal to magnitude of a magnitude of b times cosine theta. So hence the squared version basically is the same thing except everything for it. You know? So it's not that bad. Alright, onwards to problem b. I'm going to erase this right here. Uh, show that, well, if a dot b. If a dot b is equal to square root of 3 and a cross b is equal to 1, 2, 2, well, I, uh, 1i, 2j plus 2k, then I have to find the angle between a and b. Well, uh, to start off with that, we can actually, if we want to find the angle, we can use both the formula of the dot product and the cross product, uh, which will end up essentially being um, a cross b times a cross b this is essentially equal to the magnitude, uh, yeah, the magnitude of both. Which essentially will be uh, a b cosine theta over. Wait, can you pause for a second? <laughs> 